Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. We're actually on the way to Garage D. Now, if you've not heard of Garage D, uh, I've never actually spoke to, I've never even been there. Um, but we're actually taking the turbo to them. Now, they're probably one of the biggest, like, Jap garages, drift garages in the country. These guys have got quite a good reputation. They've actually got a Blitz Skyline, uh, which they take, uh, actually seen drifting uh, at Brands Hatch ones, which was great. Cool looking car. I actually gave them a call. So if you don't know what's happening with the turbo, obviously if you caught up with the Glorious Series now, one of the turbos knackered. I've actually been in contact with three or four different turbo rebuild companies. The company's actually had it in hand and they don't want to know what it is. Like everyone's just stumped what it is. Uh, I actually uh, have found out that it is a variation of a Garrett T3. So people have been looking down the Garrett 3T line and, and I'm just getting charged a hell of a lot of money to rebuild a standard turbo. A hell of a lot of money. We're talking into the thousands. Uh, now, to pay that much money to have no horsepower gain, it's a bit outrageous for me. So guys, going down to Gary Day, I actually rang up and I've talked about turbo. Now, I know that they have some VQ30 DET engines lying around and they have racks and racks and racks all the parts. So I basically said, is there anything you can help with this turbo? Can you give me a bit of advice of what to do? Because if I spend that much money, I may as well go big turbo and something like ECU. So they've said, come down, we'll see what we can do with the turbo. We've actually got some Skyline turbos on the shelf We'll see which one will work for you, or we'll see what the best route to go is. So we're on the way down to Gary D now. So it's going to be a good little day. Uh, I have random, and I have briefly mentioned I have a YouTube channel. They don't know who I am, I don't believe. Uh, I said, can I film? They said, well, don't film straight away. Just come in and talk to us first, so, which is fine, because as I said, they've got probably a lot of money worth of cars there. So we're going to go there first. You won't see a nice little intro coming to the place. But just where we can go, I just want to say, Please support the channel by heading over to Patreon. We're actually giving it, we're actually doing monthly competitions on there, uh, which means you get free entry to the competitions. This month we've got an Einhell tool bundle. Uh, so as you guys all know, I love my Einhell power tools. Uh, so head over to that, you get free monthly competitions and much more content and much more things. So head over to Patreon and look at that. But nonetheless, let's see what we how we get on today with this fucking turbo. First of all, man is hungry. Whoa. Hey. Let's get a Mc McDonald's. I really, really don't really like Mackey's breakfast. It's just, what else can you get? I mean, the pancakes aren't too bad, but they're really sugary, but I'm going to have to get them, so I don't really like anything else. Mate, look at this fucking hot boy here. Mate, he needs to come greenlining with us. Right, we're all Fred. Um, so we'll head back to go today. Just to show you something, so what I've been watching recently, you, you know when you get one of them, like, random YouTube uh, streaks? This is Ozzy Osbourne being iconic. <laughs> Honestly, it's so funny. Give it a watch, everyone. There's like 10 different parts on YouTube. It's fucking hilarious. I used to always keep it easy with a jiggle back. And one kiss is all it takes, I can give you that. Okay, so I just, I just spoke some lovely guys. Look at this hot boy. I don't know if it's a chase or a skyline next to me. So many cool cars. They've actually got a Y32 Cedric and a Y33 glory but the y33 glory is like non-turb when it's just for braking so they said keep that in mind if you need any parts which is cool um but yeah what they said is they basically got um they they can do everything so they got an rv25 hybrid turbo and they got it out and we just compared it now the exhaust housing itself is the same the cold side housing is different and the uh, the place where the downpipe goes on is also different. So an RV25 turbo will work, but it's going to have to take a lot of modifications. So we're going to have to get a custom pipework made to go onto the circular um, intake for the turbo. And then we're going to have to get a Skyline downpipe to go on the Skyline turbo. It's going to be a bit of a pain. And then... Uh, we'll need probably custom coolant lines because the coolant lines are in a little bit of a different place. So that's going to take a lot of work. Now, they suggested two guys uh, who they said, if you can get that turbo just redone, that'll be the easiest thing. So they suggested two guys that I can call and they said they should be able to do something with it. But if not, we know that we can fix it and we know that we can get some parts for it. So I'm actually going to wait to see what these guys message me back and uh, and hopefully we can send that to them and get it redone because they said that will just bolt on and we won't really have much different much issues with things over boosting and stuff. If I just say I want to keep it as stock as possible, then I shouldn't really need to do much modification. But if I do want the Skyline one, it's going to be a lot of modification. Today we've actually got a lot faster than I thought it would. Uh, but nonetheless, huge thank you to Gary's D. They've been super helpful. I walk in, they've given me all the information I can, and I didn't I didn't feel like I was, you know, pestering in any way, and I didn't actually pay anything to for their um, 
for their knowledge. So a huge thank you to them. I know that sometimes I can, you know, ask a lot of questions, uh, but a huge thank you to you guys. That's gonna go down to Modern Mini, and I think we're gonna clean the Gloria. I've never had it a clean. It deserves a clean. Well, it doesn't look like it's been a fucking bitch, but it deserves a clean, and we can help out Miriam with her, with some of their minis because they've been helping me with with my car all week. So let's go and repay that favour. There's two Apache fucking helicopters. You might not be able to see it on camera. Like proper Apache, like no bullshit shit. Look at this fucking chopper, boys. Fucking to it. Wait, I've lost him. There he is. Two of the bastards. It's like Black Hawk down in fucking Molden, mate. Right, we're here at Modern Mini. Let's go and help her out. And the one thing we need to do as well is, uh, let me just say, this car is so bad on fuel to get, it just get to get to Garage Deer back. Cost me 40 quid worth of petrol. I've done about 110 miles. It's seriously that bad. But another reason why I need to get this car mapped is that now and again, my engine light comes on. So it's only ever been on since like four times since I've owned the car. It probably comes on like once every few hundred miles. And uh, it's a cat light. So obviously we've got the uh, the Tegua sports cats. Um, so obviously we, we need to get this car mapped. Like I can do a stage two map on this car. It's not going to give me like a huge horsepower increase. I think it gives like fucking 20 or 30 horsepower. Apparently the responsiveness, it, 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 it changes the whole car. And it'll stop me fucking keep knocking that light off all the time. I actually left my uh, my OBD scanner in the Gloria. So let's just do that first. And well, first of all, just make sure it is then cat's light. Here she is, the silly bitch that's causing all these fucking issues. Still need to fix this, this door. Actually, I might do that actually. We need to see why the, all the windows aren't working and why this door isn't working. So I think we're going to pull the door card off. It's a nice day, why not? And see why the central locker, as I said, the central locker does work, but just not on this door. Uh, right, I need my scanner just to make sure that it is the cat light. I'm 99% sure it is, but let's just go and double check. Bang her in here, there she goes, there she goes, there she goes again. How many times have I fucking used that in videos? Like, get a fucking new song, mate. Let's see, codes found too. Read codes, catalyst, consistent. Thank you very much. Telling me I need a map. I know I need a map. Here we are at the mod mini garage. Oh, blimey, is that camera? <laughs> <laughs> All they're doing is going, I know the camera scares you. <laughs> I'm here to offer you my services. Not butlering services, but if you need any help with the cars. Genuinely. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Do you want to get out with the cars? So I've messaged two of Garage D's Turbo Genius I. Is that plural for geniuses? <laughs> or geniuses? I wouldn't even Genius, know. Genius? I don't know. <laughs> uh, what this, this is the word about. One of them, which is a Nissan Mazda Specialist Turbo, said that is an RB25 centre bore with... I'll actually, I'll actually read out the message word for word so I don't want to uh, quote something that's wrong. Looks like an RB25 centre session with a different turbine wheel. Very strange. That's good. It's great. Uh, I doubt it's serviceable. Uh, but bring it to me and I can check it out to confirm. This guy's in fucking Birmingham. Great. Uh, and the other guy said, 99% sure we can do it. So one guy saying... I don't think it's serviceable. And the other guy is saying, yeah, mate, bring it down, we'll, we can do it. So, I don't know what to do. The guy who said he can do it sounds like a lovely geezer on the phone. And I, I, I believe him, but is he just a good salesman? Mm. Hmm. So this is the, this is my old, should we bring it down a little bit? Then? Okay. A lot of people have asked, have, have asked what happened to, uh, my Mini, and I basically sold it because it, it was just wasted insurance policy, it was just sat there, no tracks are open, we don't know when they're going to be open, well obviously we do now, thanks to my man Bozza last night, um, but no, I've sold it to a detailing company, they brought it here, so it's, uh, it was it was a bit dirty, wasn't it, engine, it, it, it was a bit rough, a little bit. we can't really see you, you're just a shadow right now, because because of the lighting things, so they got some yellow speed coilovers, did they, I actually had these on my Evo, and I actually, uh, quite like them. Now this is pretty. So it's, it's got a new intercooler and it's, has it got a supercharger pulley on it? Oh, look at all this. It has. Oh, that was one that had the, that was gaffer taped all up, wasn't it? <laughs> That's the one. That was gaffer it's taped all up. as well with it. And then, uh, torch. Got a nice little cheeky thing up there. Yeah, there's a new pulley on it, but it's a modern mini pulley. So is it, so this is your own pulley on this? Yes. Yeah. Cause when I drove your mini, it was way faster than this was. I like my car. When it actually when it actually goes, I like it. Yeah, I I, mean, I like driving it. 
Hmm, very cool, very nice, I like it. Right, so I thought it would be good on camera, so uh, we just come look at this truck. So we, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll help out, I'll text them. And my camera's a fucking joker, mate. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh. And what did you say, why does that happen? Wait, my camera's a joker, honestly. The top of these, but they contain all the moisture. Oh yeah, um, like you like can literally, literally see factory, all the shit in there. But um, so many cars come in with them and then they just mess Absolute. everything up. That one's not too bad, is it really? No, but that, that one. one's horrific. So if you've got a Mini R53, take <laughs> these take fucking thongs off. off. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, this truck bolt. This is the nice side as well. Working on this Mini again, didn't think I'd ever <laughs> see the day. <laughs> oh, you know what? I was gonna do a shoulder workout today, but I don't think I need to now. <laughs> this is, uh, this ball's tough, we're getting it, but my god, it's like, it's like dealing with someone very angry. It's take your time. Oh, it's alright, it's alright. Right, we finally got these off. Uh, so we just need to go to the top of the car now and just uh, take three bolts. That was a pain, honestly. That bolt definitely needs to go in the bin. That was uh, difficult doing that. Uh, but yeah, we're probably, are we gonna put the, are we gonna put the L speeds in? No? I've got nothing else to do. I, I thought I was going to be at fucking Gary's Dave for six hours. I walked in and was like, yeah, do that. All right, cheers, lads. Thanks for the, thanks for the information. Right, new coil lowers are on, looking very pretty. Uh, we, we used this bolt. That was actually quite a good bolt. This one, I mean, I've just put it back in for the time being because we need it off the ramp. Um, but that will definitely change. And it's a 21 mil bolt, and I've managed to tighten it with a 19 millimeter socket. So, coilovers are on. Lovely coilovers. There's my old mini, ladies and gentlemen. And in other news, the uh, turbo is being collected from here tomorrow when it's going down to Southampton. So it's actually a company called Universal Turbos. Uh, Gary D recommended them to me. He, he's looked at all the pictures and he spoke to his guys in the workshop and they are uh, pretty confident that they can rebuild it. That's their words exactly. So they've given me a rough price. When I say rough price, there's a difference of 700 pound. Uh, so it's definitely a rough price but they've said they're gonna try and aim for the middle. So uh, hopefully it'll be around about four or 500 pounds to get it rebuilt. They're gonna try and keep it as stock as possible because they understand that, you know, it's difficult for me to get ECUs and mapping for this car. So they're gonna try and keep it as stock as possible. So obviously they're gonna put a steel turbine in it uh, and they're probably gonna put like the inserts of a T3 Garrett inside there. That's gonna be the closest thing they could do. But anyway, that's what I've just I gathered from what they've said. Uh, obviously they don't know until they've got it in front of them. Uh, so we actually could get a turbo come back and it boost absolutely fine. We could get a turbo that's coming back and it's boosting a little bit more than usual. You might be boosting the 10 and 11 psi, but the but the ECU is handling it. Or we might be in a situation where it's over boosting and it's fuel cutting. So uh, everything's gone wrong with this car so far. So it's probably going to be the latter one. Uh, it's probably going to get it. And it's probably going to be over boosting and fuel cutting. But if that happens, then obviously we'll have to just get a piggyback or something. But as you say all of the uh, everything is linked with vacuum on that car everything's linked with vacuum lines um, it's, and one of them being the uh, fuel pressure as well so i'm hoping that it's obviously going to adjust with the vacuum but i don't know maybe i'm chatting absolute shit. that's just what i'm hoping uh but yeah we're, we're just helping out here we're, we've got the mini done uh yeah lovely day I need a suntan Right, so there we go. We've got the uh, uh, Universal Turbos ascending a courier down in the morning or tomorrow at some point. Just pick up the turbo and it's going down to them. And they said they are confident to rebuild. So they said we've just done some, uh, just put some coilovers to it. My old mini actually. And uh, now we're going to go home and edit a Patreon video. So thanks for watching, guys. I love you all. And I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. I've uh, done a YouTube video. I need to get this escort in there. Holy shit. Beautiful. Wow. Don't forget to like me filming it. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't look at that. Fucking hell. Woo! Big turbo on it as well. <laughs>